race they call the Little Dream. Let's see what this thing's all about. Oh, you got these dollar pull-off tear-offs, huh? Wow. So this, how much does this thing pay or they don't even tell you? They don't. They don't tell you. They just keep taking donations all night. Oh, okay. And what was last year's? $27,000, $27. Wow. And we got second and made like $1,700. But you can oh. donate to whoever you want. You can say, I want the first guy to rack or the first guy to get a flat tire to get 100 bucks. Whenever you go donate, that's what you do. So nice. If that makes sense. And it's two sets of heats, they were saying. So like silver dollar. Two, yep, two sets of heats, passing points. Is this race any entertaining for you? Oh, it's always entertaining. Are you here to win? Don't come to put up a mailbox. <laughs> this is a Wasoda street stock or what kind of street stock? Because street stock's such a, a blanket term in today's racing world. Yeah, it is. This is uh, Wasoda street stock. Uh, two weeks ago, I was at the 141 Speedway with my best friend Jimmy Randall racing the IMCA stock cars, which are real similar to this. Similar. But they're still different. I mean, they're pulling their left front tires off the ground, and they put on one fuck of a show. Yeah, they do. They, they do. Do these? Well, yeah. Especially on nights like tonight. <laughs>
way to do it, right? Yeah, well, just uh, piss the kid off. Yeah, you gotta get a little mad yeah. sometimes, you know? I think he, before he goes out for the next place, I'll punch him right in the fucking floor. <laughs> still only get credited with third to first though right or I believe yeah yeah yes I won't get credit from coming from the back right because it's all passing points yep sure. that yeah. shouldn't make the show though you would think uh it's gonna be close there's been a lot of passing tonight we'll see what happens here we'll know as soon as two more heat races and we'll know Outside row four made the show. Sean, reach in the car and see if you can shift it, please. Yeah, it's perfect. I saw y'all. I saw y'all put, put weight on the car. What? What is this? Is on these cars you mainly just move weight and stuff to? Well, on a 35 lap race like this, we're gonna add a little weight on the back and put some shims in the left rear. When you add a shim, it tightens the car up. Right. And that's how. Sean likes to drive a car. The tighter, the harder he drives it. Right, the more grip you got, technically. Yep, yep. So we're going to just keep tightening it up till he can't drive the son of a bitch anymore. And then by the end of the race? Then it'll be come to him. Okay. And that's when we need it the most. Yes. Got it. I did my old Hulk Hogan act. Good. room for another little chunk. Unless I got the automatic. Okay. Put it on. Should be a pretty good thing then, huh, bud? Have you ever put these mini washers on, or? Is this new for you as well? This is not normal. I but it's... on race night, you gotta do what you gotta do to make the car work. And in order for him to drive it the way we needed him to drive it, just do what you gotta do. What the hell? They they delayed it for tornadoes? Yeah, tornado for 20 minutes. Tornado watch. They delayed it. Okay. Who's this 30 car on the damn? That's Pat door. My grandpa on that car. Oh, okay. A lot of years he had guys driving for him. Hmm. Pat door, Brent Larson, Eric Pember, Tony Barr. Tony Barr. So Brent Larson, like a la late model Brent Larson. Little Brent, yeah, the young Brent. Yeah. Okay. Like little Brent, yeah. One B B. Motul, yeah. Yep. Yep. B1, the B1 bomber. He was the last one, I think. Was yep. he the last driver punch? For he was the last there? one that my, our, that dad hired. Yeah. It was a Shaw car. Oh, I don't okay. know what car that is. That's a Jay McDonald car there. That was when Jay McDonald was building his uh, that old Jay McDonald cars. Mm -hmm. Now they're JMRs. But yeah, that car there. Was really something. That car with Pat Dorby behind the wheel was really something. Big Lou. No. Yeah, we had yeah Big Lou won the Wasota 100. In that car? Yep. Pass Ron Schreiner at the uh, Oatana at the Race of Champions right on the outside. That same car with different graphics on it because we raced that car for three years. He goes, I don't know if Big Lou is going to hold up or not, but I wasn't going to let Rapid Ron get me. <laughs> I just held Big Lou to the floor and we went right around him on the outside. Big Lou is a motor Grandpa had built by Louis Lane Trucking. Louis Lane. Out of bought, it. bought it for him or built it for him. He gave it to him. Or gave it to him. Uh, Big Lou. He had Louis, Louis and Irene. And Eileen, yeah. Hmm. They had two 406s. One was a 410, a 410, and one was a 406. One was Big Lou, and one was I Irene. They gave us both them motors. We ran Irene broke. <laughs> Big Lou broke. Big, too. Big Lou did too. After, but he made 
He won the Wasota one. Yeah, I think we won a GRT chassis, and that's what Pat got for driving the car that night. Dad gave him that chassis to sell. They say get ready. The dream's all that's left. We're going dream racing. All right.
quick fix with the four wheeler didn't help too much. But. Yeah, did you see strap? He quick goes, fix. Hold your brakes. <laughs> and they, they smashed a four wheeler into the car. Yeah. 